New JN0 to 250 MIST AI Associate JNCIA MIST AI Certification Exam is available to help you start preparing for Juniper MIST iTrack. MIST AI Associate JNCIA MIST AI is the associate level of Juniper MIST iTrack, which requires to complete JN0 to 250 exam successfully. Actual JN0 to 250 exam dumps with real questions and answers are online to help you pass the MIST AI associate JNCIA MIST AI certification exam in the first attempt. This video shares free JN0 to 250 dumps questions as the demo for checking the real JN0 to 250 exam dumps. You can read all the demo questions by watching this video. Question number one. Which statement is correct about the MIST API? A. Proprietary tools are required to use the MIST API. B. The MIST API is part of the basic subscription. C. You need one AP connected to use the MIST API. D. The MIST API requires calling support for access. Answer. A. Question number two. The DHCP server has run out of address leases on a site. In this scenario, which SLE would be useful to what is happening? A. Capacity B. Throughput C. Roaming D. Successful connects Answer. D. Question number 3. When using the MIST cloud with MIST APs, which statement is correct? A. User data is terminated in the cloud and run through a firewall. B. User data is compressed and terminated in the cloud. C. User data is terminated in the cloud and forwarded. D. User data is bridged locally. Answer. D. Question number four. Which two statements are correct about Marvis? Choose two. A. Marvis is the main configuration tool. B. Marvis lets you ask questions about your network. C. Marvis will send custom reports. D. Marvis can be used as a proactive monitoring tool. Answer. B. D. Question number 5. Which device is responsible for roaming decisions? A. User B. Client C. Controller D. AP Answer. B. Question number 6. Which organization is responsible for WLAN standards? A. FCC B. IEEE C. IETF D. ISO Answer. B. Question number 7. Users are complaining about WLAN performance and the MIST dashboard reports non-Wi-Fi interference. Which diagnostics tool would you use to further investigate this issue on-site and determine the location of the interference? 
a spectrum analyzer b protocol analyzer c wireless design software d wlan scanner answer a Question number 8 You configured an 802.11 NAP to use the 2.4 GHz frequency band and 20 MHz channel width. In this scenario, how many non-overlapping channels are available for clients to use in Europe? A. 11 B. 4 C. 1 D. 6 Answer B Question number 9 Which SLE would you use to determine Wi-Fi interference? A AP uptime B roaming C successful connects D capacity Answer D. Question number 10. What are two requirements to connect an AP to the MIST cloud? Choose two. A. You need a CASSL certificate. B. You need DNS resolution. C. You need a static IP address. D. You need a DHCP server. Answer. B. C.